Hi, I'm Joyce, the Energy Lady. This is another in my series of Living in the Safety Zone. And today's conversation is, it doesn't matter what speed you're going, you just have to be keep moving. And um, I'm a get it done fast person. I like checking things off my list, so I'm not a perfectionist. I don't wait till everything's done just right in order to get it done, I just like to get it done. Not necessarily the best, but that's what I do. And so I'm gonna tell you a story that we've lived in this home 23 years, and I wanna say 15 or more years ago, I decided I wanted a sidewalk that came up our front yard because it was all rock. And rather than getting cement, I decided to lay bricks. So I raked all the rocks out of the way. I didn't measure anything. I just made a smooth path that I eyeballed it, looked straight, and bought the bricks and the sand, came home, and kind of hoped my husband would take the lead after that. But his life was busy and full. And about a week later, I thought, I'm just going to do this. So I waited till about 7 o'clock at night and put some spotlights out and just started laying the bricks. They kind of fit together like a puzzle. Then my husband came home and said, what are you doing? I said, finishing the job here. And he put on his work clothes and helped me finish. And we put the sand out and we had a sidewalk. And to this very day, that is our sidewalk. Still, is it perfect? No, but we got it done. And so the conversation of getting things done means just moving. You have to move. You have to be in action. You have to be doing something. If you're playing safe, then you're waiting for something to happen. Or you're waiting till your ducks are in a row. You waited till you had enough training. You've waited until you have enough money. You waited till you've had enough time. You've waited until everything has lined up for you to do what it is you want to do. But in the meantime, you're not moving. And when we're not moving, then that's when we say to ourselves, we're stuck. Which in reality, we're never stuck. That's just words people use. But but you're just not moving forward is all. And it means you have to make a choice. When I say choice, it means you get to choose when you're gonna start moving forward and what you're gonna do to move forward and who's gonna help you and how you're gonna go about it and what is your plan. Um, my husband and I teach muscle testing. When we first started teaching Muscle Testing Academy 10 years ago, we had no idea how we were going to teach it. We just let people know, here's the date we're starting it. Here's how much we're charging. And we had to write that seminar as we taught it because we didn't have it completely prepared and ready when the seminar started on the very first day. So there are opportunities for you every day to make a choice. But if you're playing safe, then you're kind of hoping someone will make the choice for you or start it for you or do it for you. Kind of like I was with the brick, bricks. I thought, okay, I did my groundwork. I bought the bricks and the sand and I raked the rocks. Maybe my husband will lay the brick now, but that didn't pan out like that. So I needed to just do it. Um, <clears throat> same thing with you. Maybe you've taken the right classes. Maybe you have the right training. Maybe you have what you need, you're waiting for somebody else to say, go do this. That may not happen. That's up to you. Because if you choose, then you're going to be responsible for that choice. If you let someone else choose for you, then that makes them responsible and you get to blame them if it doesn't work out. Make sense? Now, there are some things we have to make fast choices on. For instance, <clears throat> if there's a certain rate an interest rate on a loan you want to get or a building you want to rent or buy or um, something that has a time limit on it, then <clears throat> yeah, you have to make a choice quick. Otherwise, if you're playing safe and you don't even want to make a choice, then start experimenting. You may not even know, you may not even know what you want to make a choice about. So you have to do some experimentation and play with some different areas and see if it fits and see if it feels right. And if it does, then choose and step in. Take that leap. Playing safe doesn't ever get you anywhere. When you're not moving, you're not going to get anywhere. So um, let me know where you might need help with this because this is how I help people 
who are not moving forward. So with that, have a great day.